what should my kids be learning is coding dead you no longer need to learn how to program there's a new term it's called vibe coding coding is not dead in fact it is more important than ever more industries and tons of new jobs so what's the final takeaway welcome to ai basics this is the podcast where we break down artificial intelligence in simple real world ways and explain how it's shaping our lives, our kids' futures, and the skills we need to thrive. I'm Sukirti Gupta and I've spent over 30 years in media and tech. Yep, Nokia Dell, CEO of Jagran New Media. I've been around the block. I'm also the co-founder of Sipping Thoughts. But what's more important for this conversation is I'm a tiger mom to two very opinionated nine-year-old girls. Which means, like many of you, I'm asking the question, what should my kids be learning? Is coding dead? Should I focus on life skills instead? What got me thinking was when the NVIDIA CEO recently said, you no longer need to learn how to program. The programming language is human. And that's what got me and everyone buzzing. You've got fantastic AI tools like GitHub Copilot, Triplet, Ghostwriter, and even ChatGPT that can write the code for you. They call it, wait, wait, there's a new term. It's called pipe coding. You just tell AI what you want and boof, magically the code appears. We all are now software engineers. So naturally, the big question is, do our kids still need to learn how to code? Or is that like teaching them how to use a fax machine? Hmm, fax machine, they're going to ask you what the hell is that anyway. But wait, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, and trust me, these folks know this stuff, just released a paper in June saying, yes, I will always start with the conclusion first, coding is not dead. In fact, it is more important than ever. So let me repeat that. Coding is not dead. In fact, it's more important than ever. So there we have it. Now let's get into why. But before we do that, let's understand who is the Raspberry Pi Foundation and why should we listen to them? If we don't know them, they're the global not-profit behind the widely popular Raspberry Pi computers. They're these tiny, super affordable computers that kids, hobbies, educators love to tinker with. The foundation has one mission, which is to bring computing and digital access to every child. So when they released a paper titled, Why Kids Still Need to Learn How to Code in the Age of AI, I sat up and listened. Because this isn't coming from some tech hype machine, it's coming from educators who've spent years in the trenches. Let's break down the five big reasons with real life examples wherever we can. Drum rolls please. At number one, we need smart human programmers. Please underline the word smart. Even with all the amazing AI tools that can write code from just a few words, we need skilled people, real humans behind the scenes. Think of it like this. AI can give us a recipe for a cake, but the human, we still need to decide if that recipe is good, does it taste right, and if it's safe to eat. AI feels smart, but it doesn't think like us. The good news is, at least for some time, humans will be still needed to ask the right questions and give the right prompts. Check AI's work. Yes, it still makes some dumb, silly mistakes. Understand the big picture. How does this code interact with the real world? I think the big one, right? Ethical, safe and well-structured code. And the last one is write and solve new problems that AI maybe has never encountered, never seen before. Number two, and I think this is the one that resonated the most with me, is coding is still the best way to learn how to think. Actually, doing the coding is how kids learn to think like a computer. It's called computational thinking. It's not just about typing code. It's about kids learning how to solve puzzles, break big problems into smaller steps, and learn to think in sequences and loops. For example, even when kids are building a simple game, they learn logic, they learn cause and effect, they learn debugging. Skills that apply in real life, whether or not they become a software engineer. Even if they use AI to help, sometimes it's great to have an understanding of really what's happening underneath the hood. Number three, a lot of people do believe this, and so does the Raspberry Pi Foundation, that coding is going to create more opportunities, not less. Every time we see that technology has become easier and cheaper to use, people find more uses for it, leading to more industries and tons of new jobs. As AI is making coding faster, coding will sneak into every profession. This means that there will be a growing need for people who can combine programming skills with other interests like science, farming, or even studying history. It's going to be a multidisciplinary world. While we can't predict every job of the future, we know that digital technologies supercharged by AI will be in every corner of the economy. So a good foundational understanding of computer science and programming will be key for young people to seize these opportunities. Number four, and I think I kind of get this, coding is becoming a basic skill. Just like we've learned to read and write, we learn maths, we will learn how to code. Why do we learn to read and write? It helps us understand books and express our ideas. Coding is becoming a modern form of literacy. It gives kids the power and us the power 
to ask questions to build and control our digital spaces. And number five, kids who learn to code will shape the future. If we stop learning to code, only a small handful of elite people will build the future. And that's dangerous. With coding becoming so simple and all of us can actually participate, we need more diverse thinkers, more kids from small towns and more girls in the game. The future so that it will be built by all of us and not by a select few. So what's the final takeaway? Is coding dead? Absolutely not according to Raspberry Pi. In fact, in this AI powered world, coding is cooler, faster and more essential. But what's really critical and stays critical is three skills, curiosity, critical thinking and problem solving. It's not just about sending our kids to coding classes. It's about helping them stay curious about how the world works. And honestly, even for adults like us, learning to ask better questions, to understand how system works, that's the super skill of the future. So thank you for joining me on AI Basics, where we're using a variety of AI editing tools to bring this podcast to life. Yes, we're trying to walk the talk and learn while we're doing this. Catch you next time as we keep exploring how AI is shaping our work, our kids' futures, and the world around us. Thank you.